Hey folks, in this video I am going to be talking all things Facebook Pixel. What is it? And I'm going to walk you through how to set it up as well. So the Facebook Pixel, what is it? Well, essentially it's a piece of code that just gets put onto your website, which means whenever somebody goes to your website, visits your website from Facebook or not from Facebook, you can track them. That's called a Pixel Fire. The Pixel fires and then it means within Facebook we're able to do three things. First of all, it allows us to build a retargeting audience. So if anyone lands on your website, visits your website, we can then retarget them with a follow-up ad. For example, thanks for visiting my website. Second of all, it allows us to track what's going on. So if we're running Facebook ads, we want to make sure that we know what's going on. How much is it costing us? How much is a lead costing us? How much is a purchase costing us? We can only figure those things out if we have the pixel installed on our site. So it allows us to track. And third of all, it allows Facebook to get smarter. So the, the Facebook machine is an incredible machine. It is able to pick out people that it thinks are most likely to take the action that we want them to take. So if we're trying to get people to buy a product, if we've got the Facebook pixel installed on our site, Facebook is able to go right. So these are the types of people that are buying the product. So I'm gonna serve the ad to more people like that. So it allows us to retarget, it allows us to track, and it allows us to optimize our campaigns better. So let's jump into my screen right now, and I'll show you how to get set up with the Facebook Pixel. So we're in our ad account right here. I'm head over to the top left hand corner where it says ads manager, this little three hamburger menu that people call it, then head over to all tools. And these are all the different things that you might need when you're advertising on Facebook. But to get pixels, we head over to guess what? Pixels. So once that page loads, it's gonna ask us if we've not already touched our pixel to set up the pixel. So click on that button. And then we've got three different options here. We can either connect the pixel through a tag manager such as Google Tag Manager, which if you're putting your pixel onto your website and it's a big WordPress website, I would definitely recommend Google Tag Manager to do so. However, I'm gonna walk you through how we can manually install it today. A third option that if you've got a web person that deals with your website, you can simply click email instructions to developer and then click on two, put in their email address like that and click on send and that's going to send your developer everything they need to know to get the pixel installed so if you've got a web person that's a great way to do it but like i say let's walk through the manual way to do it today so click on manually install pixel code yourself and what it's going to do is it's going to bring up this slightly complicated looking screen but it's not complicated first of all we can ignore the first part and then this is the Facebook pixel. So I said it was code and it is code. If you look at it, it's like, what on earth is that? But the good news is you don't need to actually understand what that means or what that does. All you need to do is click on copy code to clipboard. And then what we need to do is come to three and we always want to click on automatic advanced matching. Essentially what that does is it allows Facebook to, to gather more information from the pixel, from people that land on your website. So if you've got a website where you've got a form on that site and you're maybe you're trying to generate leads and you're asking for a name and an email address, when you click on advanced matching, it allows Facebook's pixel to gather that information as well. So it just allows you to get a better audience from that. And then click on continue, ignore all that, click on done. And there we go, we've got the pixel copied to our clipboard. So now we need to get that pixel onto our website. Now, like I say, if you're using WordPress, I would recommend that you use something like Google Tag Manager to get the pixel onto your website. You can download plugins. There's a plugin called Headers and Footers, I think, and you can just simply paste the code that you just copied into that plugin. There's also a Pixel Your Website plugin and various other ways to do it. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it on ClickFunnels because that's what I typically use for building pages and building um, mini sites for me and clients. So you head over to ClickFunnels and you go to Settings, Tracking Code, and this is, on ClickFunnels it makes it super easy. We've got the header code, the header tag, and we just paste in the pixel code there into the header. So the pixel always goes into the header of your site. And then you simply click off it and click on Save. And that means whenever anyone lands on this website, I'm gonna track them in my pixel and I can retarget them. 
But what we want to do as well is we also want to be able to track people that have taken the action and purchased that product. So we'd go to, in this case, our order confirmation page. And once you're on the order confirmation page in Facebook, we can go to settings, tracking code, paste in the code there again, and click on save. Now Facebook knows and Facebook will track people at each of those steps. Now, what we can do to then create a conversion event in Facebook, so Facebook knows that when somebody lands on that confirmation page, they've purchased something, is we go back to Facebook and we click on custom conversions. Custom conversion is essentially where we tell Facebook that someone has taken the action that we want them to take. And we can either create these conversion events through a custom conversion or what's, that, or what's called a standard event. I'm not gonna talk about that right now. So what we wanna do is click on all traffic here, and then in the URL, we simply type in the, the URL of our thank you page. So in this case, it is this. So I can just copy, paste that into here, name, purchased. This is a super simple way to, to purchase tracking. There's, there's much more complicated ways to do it, but because this is more of a beginner's guide to the Facebook pixel, I don't want to go into that because this, to be honest, is sufficient for most people. And to be honest, most people are probably, the most people that are watching this video are probably more interested in generating leads as opposed to direct sales from their Facebook ads. And so we would, instead of doing that, we'd go to lead and we would say, lead for ebook or whatever you want to call it, just something that you know, and then click on create. So when you're creating your campaign on Facebook and it asks you for a conversion objective, or a conversion event, sorry, you can just simply put in that custom conversion that you just created. But in order to do that, you need to have the pixel installed on your site. Now, another reason that I said to have the pixel installed on your site is it allows us to create retargeting audiences. So what you want to do to do that is head over to the hamburger menu again, and then all tools, and then audiences under assets. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create what's called a custom audience. And a custom audience is a, essentially a group of people that have already had a touch of our brand. Now, it's actually not letting me do it on this ad account, so let's head over to another ad account. Cool, so we're in this ad account now which is allowing me to create what's called custom audiences. So what you want to do is click on create audience, custom audience, Custom audiences are people that have already had a touch of our brand. So we've got customer file, if we upload an email list, website traffic, which I'm gonna talk about, engagement if people have watched our videos, engage with our page, engage with our Instagram, etc. So people that already know who we are. But because we're talking about Pixel here, we wanna to go to website traffic. And then what we want to do is we want to create an audience based on, we can do people that have visited our website, and we can do anything from the last day to the last 180 days. So Facebook will store the data for 180 days, which is amazing, because it then means that anyone visiting your website is essentially an asset to you, because they've been on your website and we can now retarget them as an audience. So whenever you're starting to send blog traffic or send people to your site, we're always thinking now in mind that these people are gonna be getting retargeting ads from me, and so they are an asset to the business. So that would target everyone, all website visitors, anyone that has fired your pixel. But if we want to just target people based on specific pages they've been on, we all we have to do is click on all website visitors here. And then it's gonna pop up here with things such as people with specific URLs. Now, if we want to not just target everyone blanket approach that's been on our website, and we want to target people that have been on specific pages, maybe a specific blog or a specific sales page or an offer page, then we go here and we click on people who visited specific web pages. And we can just put in the URLs of those specific pages. So let's say we want to target people that have been on our blog. We could do that. Or we could say people that have been on our sales page. We can do that. And again, we can say the last day or the last 180 days. Now this is really cool because let's say someone has been on our checkout page. We can do that. And we can say they've been on our checkout page in the last, let's say, two days. So it should be fresh in their mind that they've been on our checkout page. We then say checkout page. We can create an ad targeting people that have been on our checkout page in the last two days. And our ad might say something like, thanks for visiting our checkout page. We noticed you didn't purchase. So here's free shipping. And I guarantee you that will get you more sales. So we can get really specific with the types of people that we're targeting now based on the fact that we've got the pixel on our site, which is really, really cool. Another thing that we can do here is we can target people based on the time spent on our website. So you might get thousands of people on your website, 
but maybe only a like a small percentage of those people are actually interested in what you're selling. And typically, those people are going to be the people that spend the most time on your site. So we want to target. We might want to target people that have spent the most time on our website, and we can do that here by clicking on visitors by time spent, and we can say top 25, top 10, or top 5 percent. So if we say top 5 percent in the last 30 days, we're gonna be targeting the people that have spent the most time on our site in the last 30 days. And that's gonna be a really specific audience of people that know who we are, hopefully trust us, hopefully like us because they've consumed a lot of our content. So when you put an ad in front of them to say, hey, thanks, come and, come and buy our product, they're gonna be much more likely to purchase and then say you're just targeting someone that had been on your website in the last 180 days. So you just click on create audience and then when you go and create your ad in Facebook, that audience will be there under the custom audiences segment for you to then use. There we go, that's the Facebook Pixel 101. It's there for three reasons, to track, to build retargeting audiences and to allow Facebook to optimize better. And it allows you to create these retargeting audiences that I've just shown you, which is really gonna help you push more profit. These retargeting audiences, these custom audiences are gonna be some of your most profitable audiences when you're targeting. And, and when you're then able to track, it means that this whole Facebook thing becomes really quite fun. You're able to make more money, you're able to track it all properly. Facebook gets smarter, so the more money you spend, the smarter it gets, the more money you make. Facebook Pixel, one of my favorite tools. One of the things that, even if you're not planning to advertise right now, just get the Pixel installed on your website because, like I say, it stores for 180 days. So you might put it on now but if you and not plan to advertise, but in 180 days time, you plan to advertise, you're gonna have a big audience of people that have been on your website in those 180 days. Specific people that know you, like you, and trust you, and hopefully are ready to purchase from you when you serve that ad to them. If you're someone that's struggling with a Facebook Pixel, I hope you have found this super valuable and useful. If you know someone that needs some help with a Facebook Pixel or you know someone that needs to get the Pixel installed on their website, then please send them this video, share it with them. Also drop a like on this video, drop a comment if you've got any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Be sure to check out my free Facebook group as well. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. It's where I answer all the questions for my members in the group. There's At the time of this video, there's about 950 people in there. We do Funnel Critique Fridays every Friday. Lots of people asking questions, me providing tons of videos like this in there. So it's a really cool place, high energy, lots of really cool people in there. So be sure to click the link in the description below and join that group right now. And what's left to say? Have fun, be happy, and I'll see you in the next video.